to eat eventually. So start eating very carefully. The less you eat, the uh, more uh, the uh, more dramatic your symptom reduction is going to be. Get yourself on the best probiotic supplement you could find. That means the Biolumin Nightly Essence, which is the best one I know of. It also has digestive enzymes in there, and digestive enzymes are stupendously important for all autoimmune diseases, especially RA. They can help break up those circulating immune complexes. If you want to try uh, the ultimate enzymes from longevity, you could do that, or you can go to Brightside Health Products and get Astra Ease digestive enzyme and systemic enzymes. If you take your enzymes, your digestive enzymes on an empty stomach, you're going to get wonderful anti-inflammatory benefits. The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, all of them are very important, but especially essential fatty acids, your EFAs, that's your ultimate EFAs, nine of them a day. Make sure you're taking them with your digestive enzymes, by the way. Vitamin E can be very helpful for all inflammatory issues as well as immune issues, 400 IU a day. Make absolutely positively sure you're starting on zinc picol it's wonderfully anti-inflammatory and also especially important for the immune system. And most of us are zinc deficient, 50 milligrams a day. That alone can make a significant difference. It's a good idea to balance out your zinc with copper. The B vitamins are also very important. You'll get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Sip on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Vitamin B3, which is niacin, and vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, are especially important for rheumatoid arthritis and all autoimmune diseases in particular. Uh, particularly RA, but all auto, autoimmune diseases. You want, uh, I would do timed release niacin, 250 milligrams a day, and then uh, maybe a gram to two grams of pantothenic acid a day. There's many, many more things. That is not comprehensive, but if you just do what I told you, you're going to notice results and quickly. Fasting, food modification, dietary modification in the elimination diet, probiotics and digestive enzymes. Don't forget a little apple cider vinegar with your enzymes. Taking your enzymes on an empty stomach is a good idea. Fermented foods too. I know I'm giving you tons of information, but you can go back to the archives. And then zinc, vitamin E, also vitamin C, forgot to mention that. And you know, there's so many different things, but that's a great place for you to start. And think about digestive system. The digest the immune system is located primarily in the digestive system. So if the word immune is in your disease or in your pathology, that means by definition, tell this to your doctor, by definition, immunity, autoimmunity means digestive issue. I'm gonna go, G I'm gonna let you go, Gina, but that's okay. a ton of information. Thanks so much Thank for your call. So Appreciate it. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Uh, let's see, Sean in Virginia, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, how you doing, Ben? Doing good. What's cooking? Good, good. I, I just wanted to call real quick. I, I recently started uh, taking some supplements and vitamins. Um, I'm kind of new at this. I've been listening to your show here on and off for a few months. Um, but I, I got, I'll, I'll list what I, what I started. Um, well, tell me how okay. I can help you before, before you get into the list. Tell me how I can help you. Okay, um, I noticed I started yesterday taking them, and I've had headaches starting okay. now um, both days. Okay, so you're, yeah, yeah. you're associating those with the supplements? Are you linking those with well, the supplements? Yeah, because I'm, I'm really not prone to headaches. Uh, okay, and I go ahead. Really well, tell me what you're taking. Um, okay, so I'm taking a cod liver oil. Okay. Um, excellent C. Um, I'm taking a B-complex vitamin. Um, and then I'm getting ready to start a B uh, vitamin. Okay, but you're not on that yet. So it's the B complex, not, the essential fats, and the C. Those are the supplements. Yeah. And you're saying when you t okay. So the, the only out of all of those, the only thing that could possibly be related to uh, headaches, which are a type of circulatory oh. problem, is uh, niacin, vitamin B3. You may be experiencing some niacin flush, but I doubt it because there's not a lot of niacin in most B complexes. Stop taking the B complex, see what happens. It wouldn't be the cod liver or the vitamin C. If anything, it would be the B complex. But I, I, I'd be surprised. I'll tell you what, why don't you stop the B complex, and if you don't mind, either shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com, or come back on the air and let us know what you found out, okay? Sounds good. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for calling. I appreciate buddy. it, Sean. Okay, David in Texas, we left you on hold yesterday. What's going on, man? Yeah, hi. Good morning, Dan. Hey. Um, to you, uh, my, my health professor, my daily health professor, so thanks for uh, okay. doing what you do. I know we're running out of time, so I'll make this pretty quick. Um, you've been talking a lot about enzymes, and I'm actually one of your success stories. I've called in a couple times. I've been diagnosed with graves. So I've used your treatments, and it's helped me tremendously. I'm in remission. I'm, I actually consider myself cured. Awesome. Treated, whatever you want to call it, right? Awesome. Um, yeah, thank you so much. So, thank you, I, I thank you like for the, sharing that. The big part, yeah, a big part of it was getting my digestive system in shape. Like How the, do you like that? Your probiotics. You know, it's done wonders for me. It's, <laughs> um, 
it's I feel really silly saying this all. I feel silly saying it all the time. But but what you're telling me, I hear this. You know, it's just common response. Once you take care of the digestion, everything falls into place, especially thyroid. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. It, it all did. But I do have a question regarding enzymes since you've been talking about them. Um, okay. I do have your ultimate enzymes. And, okay. Um, I've been taking a variety of other enzymes as well. I've noticed a lot of the uh, these enzymes, including yours, have uh, what's called pepsin as the, I guess, an active uh, enzyme okay. that's, that's being used in it. However, I'm using other enzymes as well that have pancreatic pancreatic yeah. enzymes. In them. Okay. And I was just kind of wanting to get your opinion. Like a distinction, the difference? The difference, whether it's better to use them in combination, to have different strains of enzymes in your system, that different enzymes are better for different things. Um, That's a great in question. In particular, one of, the, one of the enzymes I'm taking is a product called Zytan from Standard Products. I don't know if you're familiar I love with Standard them. Products. I love those guys. Yeah, they're so, actually Colorado. You're talking about Standard Process, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Standard Process. That's yeah, no, that's a great company, and I've been actually, the guy who started it, I forgot his name, but I, I've been listening to his tapes for a long time. Standard Process is a great company. Zypan, and they, by the way, they're one of the first companies who really understood the power of enzymes. A Zypan is a pancreatic enzyme, as I understand it. It's also pepsin. Pepsin is a stomach enzyme. Pancreatin is pancreatic enzymes. What happens when you eat food, it goes into your stomach. It drops after the food is processed in your stomach by stomach enzymes and by and by stomach acid, the food drops from your stomach into your intestine through uh, a little sphincter in the stomach. And as soon as it gets in the intestine, the pancreas hits it with a bunch of enzymes. So they're both important, but they occur, these enzymes, uh, these enzymes are uh, operational in different parts of the digestive system. They're both important. And that's why Zypan and other enzyme products will contain both pancreatic enzymes and pepsin. Pancreatic deficiency and pancreatic uh, enzyme insufficiency is probably a very important and underappreciated health problem. And in my opinion, pancreatin and pancreatic enzymes can be amazingly helpful for the digestive system. So to answer your question, they're all important. It's not like one is better than the other. And it's the same with nutrients. It's not like one is better than the other. As many enzymes, as much enzyme support as you can use supplementally, also with foods, living foods, sprouts and vegetables, also to a certain extent, eggs and dairy are enzyme-rich foods, especially sprouts, though, and especially vegetables. All right, I got to move, David. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call, and thanks for the kind words. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. If you're in the Denver area, please come see me at uh, Highlands Ranch Library tomorrow, 1 p.m., phone number 720-235-9223 to RSVP or go to benfuchs.eventbrite.com. Make sure you check out my websites, brightsideben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, as well as pharmacistben.com to purchase longevity products and also truthtreatments.com to purchase any of our truth skin health products. That's all the time we have for today. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.